So today, something a little bit different than radios. Um, I happen to be one of the wonderful class of Gen X. We are a special breed of people. We grew up with wonderful television. Uh, it was a lot of repeats from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And one of my favorite movies of all times is Forbidden Planet. Used to see that a lot on the weekends um, on different cable channels. So, grew up with that movie, love it very much. And of course, the star of Forbidden Planet is Robbie the Robot. Forbidden Planet actually came out in March of 1956 and was Cinemascope. Big widescreen production, glorious color. One of the best soundtracks you have ever heard in your life, and that soundtrack was by B.B. and Louis Barron. If you have ever seen the movie or really liked the movie, uh, I love the movie. So today... When I was on a small excursion out into the pandemic world, I found the most amazing thing I have ever spent $15 on in my life. And that is my very own Robbie the Robot. Oh my gosh, this is like jump up and down happiness for me. So let's see what Robbie can do. I am to transport you to the resident Seriously, I have never in my life had a cooler toy. If I had had this toy when I was a child, it would have been a total freak out. It was almost a total freak out today. So at the big wall of March, I noticed this toy and it was $14 and I think 98 cents. And I looked at it and I thought, you have got to be kidding me. He's huge. Back in the early 90s, I had a Robbie the Robot keychain that I think cost me like six bucks. I promise you, I know what everything cost I've ever bought in my life because I am a tightwad. So, 15 bucks, you two can own your own Robbie the Robot from Forbidden Planet. How cool is that? To me, it's one of the coolest things ever. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Okay, so um, that's my glorious review of Forbidden Planet Robbie, the robot. So this movie was, um, again, 1956 in Francis. And if you're a younger person and you may not be familiar, Leslie Nielsen, and I'm sure you know him, from a lot of uh, movies from the 80s and early 90s and, and then on. So, yes, my very own Robbie the Robot. If this was the early 70s, I would absolutely freak beyond belief. And I'm kind of close to that sort of freak out right now. Robbie the Robot. 
So I realize there have been other unboxings and, you know, this is not a brand new item out. But um, if he can find one of these and that's your kind of thing, I think he is going to be beautiful in my den with my other happy 1950s items, including our fantastic radio. So, yeah, that's uh, probably the robot. $15 worth of pure happiness.